So we started with this problem where we found this relationship between circumference and radius, and we knew the rate at which the radius was increasing, and that let us determine the rate at which the circumference was increasing. Um, just to follow up, I want to I want to throw a variation in here. Um, this problem, of course, is in the textbook, except it uses inches instead of centimeters. So I decided to switch to metric. Why not? Um, So here's the follow-up question. What about area? Now, this is a little bit trickier than it might seem at first, right? We might say, hey, it's just the same idea, right? Um, we, we take the relationship, we multiply by something, done, right? But the problem is that um, we no longer have a linear relationship between the two, right? Um, the, the important thing here is that because the two quantities were proportional, so were the rates. But we know that area, well, area is pi times the radius squared, right? Now we have a power function. We have this quadratic um, relationship between the two. That makes things a little bit more challenging because when we take the derivative, So remember, we're thinking of this r here, right? r, think of that as a function of t, right? So when we take the derivative of this function squared, right, power rule says we should do 2 times the function. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is r of t. So we get r prime of t or dr dt, right? So we have 2 pi times r times dr dt, right? And so 2 pi is a constant. That's fine, just like here. dr dt, we know what that is. It's 5. But we have this, right? So now we realize that this question, as, as, it's, as it's given, it's, it's not a well-posed question. We haven't been given enough information, all right? right? The follow-up here that we might ask is, OK, fine, but uh, for what value of r, right? So this is a little bit interesting because now uh, what we see is that if the radius is increasing at a constant rate, the area is not increasing at a constant rate, right? In fact, the rate at which the area is increasing goes up with the radius, right? So if the radius is equal to 5, um, we could plug that in. We would have 2 pi times 5 times 5. We'd have 50 pi for the rate, right? Um, if the radius is 10, if we, if we double the radius, right, we're also going to double the rate at which the area is increasing, right? Now we're going to be, we're going to be going at 100 pi, right, centimeters, square centimeters per hour, right? Also be careful with those units. Um, so this is one of the things that you have to watch out for in these related rate problems. Um, Sometimes they're a little bit trickier than you might think, right? Because you have to keep track of not just the rates, but also the, the quantities. Um, so keep that in mind moving forward. We're going to see that playing a role um, in, in all of the other problems that we're going to look at moving forward.